debut. This will be the first of first in history. You're going to hear it here tonight. Unplugged Dream Theater debuting their new song. You might have seen them at the uh, Rocky Point Palladium. That was a 94 HJ winning, and it's nice that Dream Theater is supporting us back. Unplugged. Here they are. Dream Theater. wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year out there. And uh, on that note, we're going to do a Christmas carol. This is O Holy Night. of the day. 
all we came here to do. <laughs> now I'm going back to Canada, and he's going back home. All right. Well, all I've got to say is God bless us, everyone. <laughs> uh, wow, it, it just gets better and better. Excellent. Dream Theater, thanks a lot, guys, for coming down here. These guys are uh, working on their new album and uh, took some time out to come on down here and help the Rhode Island Community Food Bank. What we need from you is for you to help us. Call me on the, yeah. Where were you when we How were doing the album? You guys didn't do that one. We wanted to hear the acoustic version uh, of Pull Me Under. I got the guys here from Dream Theater. I'm Carolyn Fox, and this is James and John. Right, yeah. It's the James and John show. So thanks for playing tonight. <laughs> James and John, thanks. what's going on here? You guys are great. Oh, thank you. Got a thank great you voice. Well, thanks. I got to tell you, when oh, yeah, he does, doesn't you he? know when it's when it's done when music is done acoustically, mm -hmm. either you're really good. Oh, are you or really or blow? You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know the studio helps you out. Yeah. We were just talking about that. It, it's yeah. true. On the, way, on the way here, we were talking about that, how naked you are when you play a situation How like do you this. feel about that? It's different, uh -huh. especially when you have only five people. Like I was saying to John, it's easier to play in front of a, a few thousand people right. instead Why? of playing in front of five people. Why? Because they're sitting right there, and they're looking at you, yeah. and you're looking at them, and there's nowhere else to look. So you feel like you're wearing no clothes? Yeah. yeah. I'll make a deal with you. I, I don't want the experience to go without. You can take your clothes off right now. Okay, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my favorite part of the show. And James's jeans will be going for a mere $55. No. Oh. Uh, so anyway, I so... I paid more than that for these. Uh, tell us, you pl you guys played uh, the Palladium here. So you have this Providence connection, as it were, or this yeah. Rhode Island connection. We had the first concert broadcast of 94 HJY's history, mm -hmm. and you guys helped us out. We were there. Yeah. We were there for you. So it was <laughs> like, we had tons of people there. Oh, it, it was a great night. We That was the, the kickoff to our summer leg mm -hmm. of the tour, and that was the first night. And speaking <laughs> and of which... And there's your winter leg, yeah. And speaking of which, <laughs> yeah. I did wipe out that night on stage. I tripped over... John has guitar monitors uh -huh. just right near the front of the stage, and I wasn't thinking where I was at the time, and I walked uh -huh. backwards, but I fell right over them. Oh. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a, you know, a spinal tap move. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked all right. It looked rock and roll. Yeah. So how's it going for you guys now? What do you guys, uh, you guys are have a new album out or well, touring or? We just finished touring it. Uh, we started 14 months ago or so, and mm -hmm. and uh, we just stopped about two weeks ago. How does it feel to have stopped and then started for tonight? Yeah, really. <laughs> well, the flight over was one of those little... Tiny planes with like five people. <laughs> yeah, no, was it really? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, you kidding, seriously. <laughs> Sorry. Like, uh, I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. There is a, always appear more harrowing than they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we made it. But we're going to start writing the new album in the uh, beginning of January. Okay. Yeah. All right. Did you guys, I uh, think you guys debuted a song here tonight that. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a song John just uh, finished writing. Cool. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I wrote it on. You know, during that 14-month tour, we did have a point every once in a while where there was a break for, for two weeks or so. Yeah. yeah. So I just wrote that song one day, and uh, and when did one you write day. that song? That John? was a one-day song. No, but when did you write it though? When did I write it? Wasn't didn't you write that on the way back from Hawaii? No, that was Barf Bag. Oh. Barf Bag. <laughs> Gee, I'd love to hear that <laughs> song. That's an instrumental. Yeah, it's an, instrumental. an instrumental. So yeah. now people, um, how do they describe what you, how do, I guess, critics or people in the industry des describe what you do and the type of music that you play? Um, I've heard progressive metal being thrown around. Yeah. They, a lot of people like to just put that, you know, that uh, title to us. Tags. Progressive, you know, or uh -huh. prog. But I think that... Um, they have to realize there's a lot more uh, there's a lot more styles and influences than just the progressive. What definitely, does progressive mean anyway? Well, it's it's they're, they're referring to bands like you know Yes and, uh -huh. and uh, definitely early you know Yes and Genesis, mm -hmm. Pink Floyd stuff like that. But I mean you know this band especially was uh, very influenced by Rush mm -hmm. and uh, I but can we hear had that. like other other influences like Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, U2, mm -hmm. Journey, Aerosmith, Van Halen. Mm -hmm. So I mean it's not our Metallica and Queens mm -hmm. right. So it wasn't all just like one type of band. I mean, we all have, and we still listen to a wide, you know, range of, of uh, musical styles. Mm -hmm. So when you got together, you all got together and said, oh, I like this band, I like this mm -hmm. kind of music, blah, 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 let's do this sort mm -hmm. of stuff. I think if you listen to Images and Words, you'll hear um, styles such, you know, classical and jazz influences mm -hmm. and progressive and just heavy metal. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's all in. I tell you, yeah. my favorites. What's the your metal favorite stuff, song? the metal stuff. Metal stuff? Oh, partial to that. <laughs> We're talking to Dream Theater. We're going to head back to uh, head headquarters with Paul and Al, who are doing a great job out front, mind you.
And how's that bra doing? I'd like to know how my bra is doing in terms of, uh, <laughs> in terms of price, okay? We'll be back right after this. I well, think we're going to end up doing is probably cutting Carolyn's brazier in half because uh -huh. we both want it. We're going to fight over it. I'll take yeah. the left cup and you take the right. That's the